coming in for a chest parlay after. We are the most swinging crowd, no? Music is more like a part of life and what, you know, defines different moods and cultures and it's just uh, something that is it was always a part of me but I really let it blossom when I moved here because it's uh, just so natural here like every, everyone sings or plays an instrument or just like involved in sort of like activity that involves music so it's um, music is life I guess. I don't know if I I don't know if I chose the drums. I my my father played the drums when he was a kid, and so he gave them to me when I was uh, first three years old. And I promptly destroyed that drum kit. And he was a wonderful teacher and provided me with all sorts of uh, learning materials. It's, he wasn't like a master drummer himself, but he gave me great instructional tapes and took me to you know jazz concerts that changed my life and and things like that. <laughs> find the kind of enjoyment outside of music in a different area that I that I did there that that just completely locked in for me and so it's yeah it's something that I think transcends um, a lot of the barriers that are normally between people it's a you know I don't mean to sound cliche but it's absolutely a language and it's an extension of yourself and your experience that you can express through an instrument and create something beautiful with with other people we're Scarlet Sales, and uh, this is our album release show. Thank you for coming. I'm kind of lucky because all men in my band, they they respect me, and they I don't think they see, they judge me or like um, think of me less because I'm a woman. So uh, I think we kind of like we have this equity going on. So it's cool. It's awesome. So you did three. You did every time too. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one, mm -hmm. that one, right, yeah, boom. Yeah, boom, boom. One of the main things, in addition to the collaboration, is the spirit of uh, sort of a new band getting the ball rolling. That's always an exciting uh, time for me when I feel like people are hungry to get out there and make their bands happen or are excited to work. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sweet. the development of the group in terms of the business and the music, I love having a direct hand in that. And even when I'm a side man, I wind up having a pretty direct uh, say in a lot of the business things. I like being a team player. I like to, to get my hands dirty and, and help all of those components come together because I like it. Bass, two, uh, two, hey, hey, check, two, two. Yeah, that, all that low end can come out if you want. Maybe two. Myself and Olya, extremely lucky that our fundamental passions in life are nearly identical. For, for us, it's, it's all a matter of respect anyway. And I, to be completely honest with you, being in the same band together actually has made our marriage stronger and our relationship stronger because one of the main stressors was being apart all the time. I came here June 23rd, 2013 to see the Black Flag. Uh, Bar for Life show. And I came up and I rounded the corner with my friend. And I stood right, right here. <laughs> and I looked over. And there, stood right here, right by the cash register area, was my darling baby hunker bunker boo. There she was. And I was like, <laughs> with a vision, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life. The most enigmatic flower. I did the, the corniest thing that you can do, which is be like, I'm gonna fly her to my show. But she came to the show. It we worked. became friends. It worked. That's right. <laughs> and then we started a band and we got married and life is better than ever. Rock and roll. <laughs> we both love to play music. We share a similar enough 
musical aesthetic, which, which I recognized anyway. It's what attracted me to her music and her as a songwriter. It winds up actually bolstering our relationship rather than being an added weight or, or pressure. We were playing this show at Barrio Electric where I used to work as a bartender and now I'm finally coming back there being a singer and having a band, you know, and of course when I bartended there I dreamt of being on stage, and, but I didn't even dream, I knew that moment was gonna come, you know, like I, I knew it was gonna happen, I just didn't know when, so I just, you know, I was, I took things as they were, but I knew that one day I was gonna come back there and, and, and play on stage and now this, uh, moment is coming in five days, so... One, two, one, two, check, check. One, two, one, two, check, check, check. One, two, one, two, it's good. I was, I would just be living those songs at that particular moment when I was on stage. And it can be, it, it changes all the time, like what it exactly like brings in, from like inside of you. But um, I just try to be as true to that, like, particular moment, that instant when I'm on stage. Everything in life is a continuous part of what you hear, what you see, it's like it's kind of this, um, you now your impressions, they affect uh, like your creative process. So like you can get inspired by anything when you, you know, listening to my songs and things like that, it would be like a book. So you have different chapters of your life and the songs reflect those. With art that I'm making, create not only this is a one dimensional thing, but like a multi dimensional space where it's uh, something that you listen to makes you see the images, for example, right? So it's like, it becomes a little bit, you create the space and like parallels and things like that. So I don't know exactly how to define the genre, but we're doing something uh, a bit different, but um, it's rock and uh, got different elements, but you tell me. <laughs> the phrase that probably has guided me the most it came from my father, who actually said, remember, music is your voice. So let the drums talk, you know, speak through your instrument. Music is, is that language. When you sit down, don't just kind of babble away at your instrument. Try to really converse with the people around you, you know, and let the music speak through you. Keyboards and vocals, Mrs. Olivia Leon! Yeah.